Hey guys, if you're new here, uh, we talk all about church facility stewardship, maintenance, ongoing cost, security, everything related to managing a commercial size asset for churches. Uh, please like and subscribe. And give us a comment if you want to see more content like this relative to church facility stewardship. Hey guys, this is the lead with Smart Church Solutions. Uh, for those of you who do not know us, we are a company that focuses on pretty much everything related to church facility management, church facility stewardship, uh, everything in terms of making sure that your uh, facility is up to date in terms of the condition, deferred maintenance, capital reserves, operational benchmarking, uh, ensure you have a clear path forward of what preventative maintenance needs to be done, as well as a plan to uh, manage that building in the long haul, preventative maintenance, ongoing maintenance, the events that happen, uh, tying things in with your HVAC doors, you know, the list goes on that we provide. But what I want to talk to you about today is the actual costs of owning a church facility. Uh, and some of you may have found this video by looking up what is a uh, what does it cost to build a church. We're definitely going to talk about that as well. But for those of you who are considering about building a church or trying to determine what the cost of that would be, I would also like to interrupt your thought process and share a little bit about what does it cost to own a church facility. So let's start digging into the cost for a second and you're gonna see some numbers kind of pop up next to me here. Uh, but for this demonstration, let's assume that our new church facility of 30,000 square feet um, is $6 million kind of initial cost to build. So, Let's assume that we borrow four and a half million to pay for the project through a 15 year loan, um, say a 4% interest. However, we paid it off in seven years. In this scenario, we would have paid approximately 1.76 million in interest, which is essentially the cost of money, right? Uh, based on our research and benchmarking, provided by IFMA, as well as some studies we've done on our own, and IFMA is the International Facility Managers Association, the average church in America will spend anywhere between $5.25 to $7.50 a square foot annually for janitorial services, utilities, general maintenance, which we'll also consider as the cost of operation. Um, you'll also spend an additional amount on capital improvements probably about two to three dollars a square foot range. Uh, therefore, for the sake of this exercise, let's assume that we're gonna spend about $8.50 uh, $8 per square foot on operational and capital reserves costs. So let's assume that we have a 40 year life cycle at a one and a half percent per year, year over year inflation rate increase. Uh, since operational costs are perpetual and paid using inflated dollars, this is going to increase. So $255,000 per year multiplied by 40 years at 1.5% interest rate per year without compounding equates to just under $20 million. So it's $19,970,500. So what do we take from it? Be this is a lot of numbers, this is a lot of random stuff, but what does this mean? So let's let's zoom back real quick. The initial cost for our building was six million dollars. And how much did we pay for the loan from the bank? We paid in interest uh 1.7 million, one million seven hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Uh let's also talk about the cost of life cycle operations and capital reserves. Uh, you have another about $12 million, so about $407 a square foot. Now that's painful. Um, it's $12,210,000. So if you add that in conjunction with the initial cost and the interest payment or the cost of money that we had to pay, we're looking at just under $20 million. So you have $19,970,500. That is the total cost. Uh, when you factor in all those pieces there. So that's a lot of money. Uh, let's look at that even further in terms of ratios. So the construction costs, including the design, are only about 22% of the total cost of church facility ownership. The interest paid is about 6% of the total cost. Therefore, this leaves about 71% of the total ownership cost and operation and capital expenditures. So what costs more, right? 
So when you're thinking about building a facility and starting something from the ground up, it's very prudent that you consider all the thoughts and all the pieces that go into it. Uh, this is where we see a lot of churches fail is they fail in the construction phase because they do not have a clear path forward or they get blindsided by all these expenses they don't account for later. So if you're looking to build a new building for your church, make sure that you're thinking about all the costs and don't put your church or your givers or anybody else in your congregation into a bad place where you're continuing having to raise money to fix things that you weren't planning for. So uh, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions related to uh, church facility management or stewardship, uh, we'll leave a link uh, right here somewhere over to uh, the side of me. I don't know which side it'll be on, but it'll be there somewhere. Um, and of course, you can reach out to us online as well, www.smartchurchsolutions.com. Uh, if you got anything out of this video, please like and subscribe so we can get you more content like this. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.